If we were to tell you that Dune is a simple read, we would have been lying to you. No, Dune is definitely not a simple read. It's far from it. So what is it about this series that has captivated millions of fans over such a broad span of time and has made a lasting impression in their minds and hearts? I can talk about how influential this book is and discuss its world and top-notch political tension. I can also talk about how everyone's motivations are layered and how authentic and detailed the world building is. But those aren't the main reasons to read Dune. You can find these in the net easily. No, beyond all that, those are just superficial points. Because Dune is more than that. Dune is a complex read. And you should read it. Dune offers a different experience from most of the books you might randomly pick up from a bookstore. It has been like that in the last 50 years since it came out. At first, it may seem very classic, even innocent, relatable. A sci-fi story about a kid loses everything, tries to take revenge to rise in power. It's the essential story we all know and love, but somewhat got stale. But the story expands, converts and even subverts expectations in a weird way, in a weirding way. There are a lot in the next books and the story feels half with just the first one. There are shape-shifting slaves, fish humanoids, worm gods, dominatrixes, politics, religion, tragedy, ascension. Dune is a complex story, there is no clear structure to it, it feels like you have taken a lot of spice and in a spice trance you are watching your ancestors epic saga that spends more than 4000 years to finish that has been lost in time. Like reading ancient records that humanity forged in desert and flame. The Dune series is not one you breeze through and move on from, at least not on the second read. The true meanings of the book emerge upon a second reading and a third reading. The texts of Dune serve as a kind of veil for its deep meaning and nuanced stories. It expects you to understand and see beyond. It expects you to ask questions. All the books in Dune series are written with a profound love of philosophy guiding you to think deeply within a such an epic story. Some books consist of solely of 70% dialogue and philosophical discussions among characters. Philosophy is not a tool to find answers to some questions, but a way to broaden our understanding within the framework of the questions we ask and seek. Frank Herbert knows this, knew this, sees this, saw this clear. It's not about finding the answers, it's about raising the questions. Questions that will take lifetimes to understand that even the meanings of it. Dune asks you, asks all of you the same questions, the ones in the surface and the ones are deep buried into the sand. Can a mother love her family more than her duty? Can a father, a leader walk into a trap, make the ultimate sacrifice just to ensure the best future for his son? Can love persist and flourish even in the most harsh environment? Can friendship, loyalty and responsibility endure time and disaster? Can a man get lost in his belief? Can a man give up everything, give his everything to save everyone even when no one understands him, hates him? Can religion be trusted? Can the wise be trusted? Can the past be trusted? Can humans change? Can cultures change? Can environment change? Would it change? Should it change? Can heroes fail? Should heroes fail? Can humanity play God? Would play God? Should? Like God. But isn't the point to try to answer those? To get lost in the questions and find our way in the desert? To make these profound stories more ours by trying? Dune is a complex read, demanding active engagement. It wants your attention all the time. It wants you to get lost within its sentence and make your own interpretations and conclusions. To look deeper in the machinations of the Bene Gesserit to the spacing guilds unyielding travels across the space, to the royal bloodlines that get used like pawns in their own power, that golas that endure pain and thrive just to know more about themselves. Dune demands you to think. Dune begs you to think. There are no robots, no AI in Dune, because Frank Herbert wanted to make a story solely about humans. Our evolution in Dune has changed us. We have become the very aliens we used to wonder and seek about. 
our minds and bodies and souls have changed forever profoundly. If you read Dune, or about to, or watch the movies and have a single, even a simple thought about anything, let's meet in the comments and talk about Dune. See you around, sippers. Keep sipping your favorite stories. Thank you.